look I just want to talk to you guys about um, what you guys are doing to your arteries and just what you're doing to your body when you are oh when you are allergic to something and you don't know it well you may have signs and symptoms and it little things like gas you ever notice you may be gassy or you bloated or your stomach just don't feel easy you know just like the ones you know as melanated people most of us are allergic to dairy we're allergic to the protein and the sugar and the, the lactose that's in there because you know like some people say they lactose intolerant but they drink anyway they drink milk anyway just they just look at it and says okay i want the lactate free or the the lactose the milk that had the free you know lactate y'all know what milk i'm talking about no i'm not gonna post it but i just want to talk to you about um just your body just your body drinking it and what happens when you continually drink it and you like wait a minute um i could take i could take a little bit i can I, I can handle it and then you don't realize what you're doing to your body so i just thought i just you know give me some elmer's glue and just talk about your body a little bit and then you wonder why nutrients is not getting where it's supposed to be <laughs> i just 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 hear me out I just want to make sure you guys understand what I mean and why you have you know why it caused inflammation why you have these other issues and you're like well as long as my throat's not closing and as long as you know I'm not going unconscious but yes you know being allergic severely allergic to you know dairy we're gonna just put it on there you guys can look it up for yourself it says when you severe look mild things are rashes yeah but like oh then you wonder why you have that that the eczema and all this other rashes on your body just want to make sure you know just 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 hear me out I just want you to understand what you're doing to your body look and you wonder why nutrients is not getting in and why your body's going down here still uphill so what I did I you know I took me some Elmer's glue and I put it on my hand y'all see it that's it so just think about your intestines and just think about your body just think about your whole body now you wonder why nutrients is not getting in because your body's actually building up a a wall your body's actually you know residue and stuff is just casting putting you know putting a coating putting a coating around your body look I know you're like oh I want a coating around my body no you don't no you don't you don't want a coating around your body because you want the nutrients to get in now look if you have a if you have a little coating like this I know it looks terrible but if you have a coating in your body and then you wonder why the nutrients not getting in but look in your intestines when your intestines inflame and you have permeability and you you know the walls is open and then you got poison going in your your intestines but we're talking about the rest of your body we're talking about when your your blood is toxic and you just keep eating you know we can bring it back to dairy but you just keep eating what you eat and you're like oh no i'm fine oh no you know hold on you're like, oh no, I'm fine. I can, I can eat that. You know, when you're, you know, when you're eating, you're like, no, I can, eat, I can eat a little bit. Let me get some, let me get some ice cream. <laughs> you know, you gotta have the ice cream. You know, you have to have the cake, and you don't want to do substitute like putting the banana in it. You know, you, you just want to make sure you got all the good flour. You don't want to change the flour. You want to get all the ingredients. Like, no, you're like, I'm not, like, I'm not um substitute. I'm not gonna substitute. And you know how they be how they doing. Be you know people go to restaurants and they're like no give me everything no substitutes look those substitutes would save your life that's all I, I just want to put that out there the substitutes would save your life you want to make sure that your body body you know you 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 want to get all this off you want the film off and the way you get the film off is when we say you know herbalists when we say you need the detox you need to fast you need to cleanse your body to get all this stuff from off your body that's all you want the nutrients to get in i'm just gonna be gonna represent my hand you want the nutrients to get in because right now this is your body right now right now that's what's going on you know your blood is just going in there and you're wondering why you know people arteries be clogged 
and you wonder why the nutrients not getting in. Same thing with your liver. Your liver just clogging. Your liver just clogging. You know, I just want to just, just show you just an example. You know, the reason why you fast and detox and cleanse, because we want to get this off. We want to take this off. <laughs> That's all about. We want to take that film. We want to get all those toxins and metals and stuff out your body. That's the whole reason why you, you know, you do the fast and do the cleanse. You know, like, you know, at night, when we, I tell you, go to bed at night and um, three hours before you go to bed, three hours before you go to bed, you, know, you haven't eaten anything. You want to make sure that, um, you know, you just want to make sure that, you know, drink, have water, have some water, like <laughs> put a little cayenne pepper, like a cap full of apple cider vinegar, or, you know, take some lemon water or a lemon, I mean, or lime. Look, that's the best time to add just a little cap full of whatever you're going to have in your water. Or don't drink any caffeinated tea. Have some natural tea. That's the best time to have your uh, your chamomile tea. So that's going to calm you down. So that's going to aid something that's going to relieve you. But I just showed you this because you want the nutrients to get in. You want the good stuff to get in. That's all I want, was trying to tell you. So in your body, body, you know, that's what's going on with some of your organs. Your organs are clogged, it's encased, just like your penile gland, it's encased. And we want to, you know, clean our bodies. We want to meditate, go out there, get your steps in, get your exercise, sweat. But you want to just make sure you have some healing herbs. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I said healing herbs. You want your turmeric, you want your black pepper. Yes, <laughs> black pepper. It reduces inflammation. All right. Not the black pepper y'all eating. The good black pepper, the one that you got to crunch and then you turn into a tincture. That's what you want. That's what you want. You know, you want your garlic, even cat's claw. That helps with inflammation. <laughs> that helps with pain. Look, y'all just don't get it. Clove, ginger, uh, cayenne pepper, all that helps. All this helps with the inflammation. All this helps. Because what you want, you don't want... You spend all that money on your on, on your vitamins. Y'all know how much money y'all spend on vitamins. You want it to absorb in your body. You don't want to just keep taking it and peeing it out. That's the only thing I want to make, you know, put through. That's the only reason why I did the video Tuesday about inflammation, because I'm getting a whole bunch of a whole bunch of messages. Cause y'all didn't believe me. I was like, no. Yeah, y'all like I'm I got like six emails. <laughs> I'm not gonna read the emails, but it was all dealing with inflammation about my video on um, on Tuesday. So I just wanted to make sure I reiterated the main reason why I was telling you guys about inflammation. You can't just keep eating inflammation food and think that um, your body's gonna just get better. You know, I was just trying to drive home that if you want the herbs to work, if you want the uh, how can I put it? If you if you want to change, you know, if you want to get rid of of arthritis, the gout, if you want to do that, you have to change. <laughs> you got to change. Keep eating that. Keep eating that bread. Reduce the sugar. Just a little bit of alcohol. I know you gotta have it. I know you gotta have it. And that was the only thing. I was just driving at home. But it's very important that you guys. You you are allergic. You are allergic, sweetie. You are aller If you're allergic to something, you can't keep eating it. That's all I was trying to tell you. People don't realize that, you know, your intestines, your stomach, everything is screaming, saying, why are you eating me? But you keep eating it. You keep eating it. Just like the whole week. Oh, I'm going to eat something else. What else are you going to pick? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and use the flax seeds, the chia seeds. Go ahead and use that flour. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just changing. It's just changing. That's all I was trying to do. So you just got to change. It's very important that, look, now when I was talking about dairy, okay, so if you get a little rash, right, you get a rash the first time, and then you keep eating dairy, what you think is going to end up happening? Huh? No, your throat's not going to itch, baby. You could just go, ha go unconscious. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? When you have, when you go unconscious, 
It's the same thing like all that medications y'all taking. Read on the back of the packages of the of, the, of those uh, those medications. When they keep talking about your liver, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna leave it right there and just try to tell you, you know, it's it's up to you if you want to peel this off. If you want to peel this off your body, you know, peel this off. Please detox, fast, and cleanse. Do it. Do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. So that's all I was trying to tell you. That's all I was trying to tell you. I don't want to be just a little bit of Elmo glue. So right now it's like you, you put Elmo glue in your mouth. That's basically what you're doing. Every time you eat it, you're pouring this in your mouth. And all it's doing is creating this, this calcification inside your body and no nutrients is getting in there and then you're wondering why you're getting worse and worse and worse you're going to keep getting worse worse and worse if you don't change it if you don't change it yeah you're going to end up dying you're slowly killing yourselves and then you go and get some over-the-counter medication and say oh this is going to help is it really helping has it helped yet has it helped yet for those that say my eyesight's getting worse, for those that keep telling me my headaches are getting worse, and then I say, well, have you pulled back on the sugar? Did you increase the water? Huh? Did you add turmeric? Did you did you put the black pepper in the turmeric? Did you, did you take the turmeric and put some coconut milk with it? Because if you're just taking turmeric by itself, <laughs> it ain't doing nothing. It ain't getting into where it needs to get to. Nope. Nope, it's not reaching where it needs to get to. Nope. And you guys don't even understand it. Some of the medications that you take actually go through the blood-brain barrier in your head. Then you're wondering why you're having all these issues. Because once medication... Ugh, look, you don't really want any medication messing with your brain. Do y'all... Y'all already know how important your brain is. I don't really have to explain that to you. Your brain is so delicate. Look, it runs... it. it it runs your whole body. <laughs> your brain is running your whole body and you don't even care. You know, you don't even care. Because you probably dehydrate right now. Like right now, if you're thirsty, you dehydrate it. And you're killing your brain cells. Yeah, look, I'm not trying to cause uh, fear. I'm just really reiterating. Well, I'm just really uh, trying to answer the subscribers' questions. I have a whole lot of questions and nine times out of ten well i would say six out of the ten is dealing with inflammation it's different dealing with some type of inflammation yes inflammation is, is is a healing process in your body but we're talking about what you put to your mouth what you you know shoot in you you know what what you rub on you you know what i'm saying what you smelling i ain't really saying hearing or seeing but your eyes look you know Y'all know what you hear. You hear the ice cream truck coming down the street. You be like, I'm going to give me some ice cream. Look, I don't know if they're doing it now. But y'all know if y'all seen an ice cream truck. Look, y'all driving around. You see Dairy Queen. Or, or you go in the supermarket and you see the the uh, ice cream velvet cake or the ice cream, the Carvel ice cream. Y'all know y'all going to go get some. Or you see the, the donut or you smell the donuts. So I just want to leave it there. Look, you keep this like that's just like you putting a can of raid to your mouth. I'm sorry, I, I'm going on too much. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Just leave it there. But yes, I'm just getting a whole lot of questions, and I just wanted to drive home to what you're doing to your bodies when you're constantly eating stuff that you should not eat. That's all I'm saying. You should not eat it. You should not eat it. That's all I want to say. You're eating too much of it. You're eating too much of it. Especially if you have an allergy, you shouldn't eat it at all. You shouldn't eat it at all. That's that's pretty much what I'm saying. I know like, yeah, I'm tired of hearing her. I probably lose some subscribers. I probably lost some subscribers last week when I told you I got guys about the Cheerios. Don't give it to your babies. You know, it's like the worst, the worst. But I just seen too much. I'm just telling you what I did to my body and what I'm reversing, just reversing because I didn't like the inflammation. I didn't like the pain. I didn't really realize where, where, where it was coming from. You know, I am allergic to the dairy, 
the the sugar in the milk the lactate and the protein that's what that that's what you know affected my body so I'm just sharing you how it affect my body and what it did to me and you know how it caused you know look I just tell you I just know the pain just cut and dry right there the pain ain't no joke and I know you don't want the pain and then you're wondering where's the pain coming from why am I having this pain why am I having this yes it's a lot of wear and tear yes it's, it's when you get of age but if you catch it early enough if you catch arthritis early enough it is reversible it is reversible look it up for yourself I don't have to keep telling you look it up for yourself look it up for yourself I keep telling you guys research everything I say go back to all my videos research everything just research it ask your doctor where do arthritis really come from especially if you are going to see an arthritis doctor yes there's all different types of arthritis I'm not gonna get in there you know which one you have you know which one you have so I just want to, I just want to tell you, you know, try, but look, in order for the nutrients to go inside of your body, that's, that's the only reason why I was talking about the glue. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your body's calcified. Your body is calcified and I need the nutrients getting in and getting all in there, going to your, your liver, Blood. your kidneys, your bladder. You want all the nutrients to go in there. You know what I'm saying? You want good blood. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say you need a lymphatic cleanse. You need a lymphatic cleanse. <laughs> oh, a lot of you guys need to look lymphatic cleanse like yesterday. So, <laughs> I know, look, I know this video is going too much and too long. Y'all don't want to hear what I'm saying. Look, I understand. I understand because I ain't want to hear it. But I got tired of the pain. I got off that nail. <laughs> I got off the nail and I said the only way, way I'm going to stop having pain if I just put the donuts down if I stop eating you know tomatoes look y'all can eat tomatoes I can't eat tomatoes I had to push away some of the bread like the potato bread I can eat a little bit but I have to make my own I have to grind some some flax seeds and chia seeds and make my own flour you know and then make my own bread look get back to bacon get back to bacon if you can't take the grains and if you know give you rashes you itching and you don't know what it is you know you allergic to grains especially my people allergic to just nuts wheat soy you already know eggs there's a lot of people allergic to those little simple things that don't even know it so look do the detox well do the fast do the full elimination full elimination and then you'll see what your body likes and don't like and then y'all don't understand when y'all eat something all the time your body's gonna develop a tolerance like i don't want you anymore i know i know i know you're tired of getting this information i know you don't want to hear information but i'd rather you know because a lot of you guys are suffering in silence look a lot of you guys are suffering in silence right and you're going to see a doctor <laughs> The doctor's giving you medication. <laughs> the doctor's giving you medication. But the problem's getting worse and worse. And then the doctor's saying, well, let me increase it. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. So <laughs> whenever you're ready and you want to do your detox, look, reach out to an herbalist. We'll tell you what to do. We'll tell you what to do for as, you know, detox and fasting, you know, doing a good a good cleanse we will assist you you know so ah uh, i know happy friday you guys <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> y'all probably hate me but <laughs> all right look <laughs> bye and look it's friday get the apothecary look add to your apothecary so i'm gonna read the ones you need to get look. you need to get some white willow bark you need to get some, some clove. You need to get black pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic, cinnamon, rosemary, frankincense, ginger, and turmeric. Put those on your shelf. I hope you got those. those These are specifically for uh, for inflammation. So get those. I'll put them down below. And look, like, share, subscribe. I know I keep forgetting that. Because look, they trying to dog us. They, look, if you ain't liking it, you know, we don't, we don't get love. But. <laughs> Just want to put that out there, but like happy Friday guys. Bye. <laughs>